Hello, 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 my friends. This is Joaquin. I'm here with Jay. And this is the Overflow Podcast at thisisoutcry.com. And we are happy to be here with you guys today. Um, Excited, you know, great week is upon us and uh, just a lot of good things um, are going to happen. Are, are happen or have happened oh, are happening are happening <laughs> you know it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a great just a great 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 week so uh what's up man how you doing today i am exhausted today exhausted <clears throat> why are you exhausted because that's what happens when you don't sleep at night <laughs> <laughs> you know cal um his top teeth are coming in and he's making sure that we pay for it oh okay well, yeah. you know, you wanted to have a baby, and I guess that's your punishment. I get to sleep <laughs> uh, when the cat is not um, attacking. When the cat's me. not attacking you, because that yeah. cat is not he, nice. Well, that's the thing, right? He like he's he'll be super nice, and he'll fall asleep, and then I'll move my hand, and he thinks it's a mouse or something, and then he just attacks, <laughs> and my my forearms are all like. Like you're trying to commit suicide. Like I'm, trying, like I'm, like I'm cutting. <laughs> like you're, <laughs> you're, like you're, why, why are you sad? I'm not sad. I'm attacked by an orange tabby. <laughs> and his, whose name is Trouble. And it's very, very. Uh, there you very go. Ap- you asked for apropos, it. right? You watched the Super Bowl yesterday? I did watch the Super Bowl. Uh, it was awesome. I really liked it. It was a very defensive, you know, uh, game, which is fine with me because, like, right. I just. You know, it's like I either like offense, either have let's have some offense, like with both teams, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or let's just have like a knockdown, drag out like a street brawl, and that's kind of that's kind of what the game was yesterday. It was yeah, a it brawl. was such a good game, you know. And I'm glad Peyton won, and he got his 200th win, and hopefully he'll just retire, uh, go off into the sunset. It's it's so funny, you know. You say that right, and I was I was having that conversation with Junie about you know hopefully 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 he will win. Right and have his Super Bowl ring and then retire, and and I use the term because he's um he's football old. Right. Well, he's old old. Right. No, no. But I'm saying well, for, yeah, he's, for, he's for football, football old, yes. for football, he's football because he's yeah. he's 39. Uh, and by the way, Junie is your son. Junie's my son. Yeah, Sorry. that's kind of right. so. Junie? So I say that to him, and you know he's understanding where I'm coming from. But then Magda starts laughing. I don't think. That, Looking at her, like, why, why? Why are you laughing? Ah, you said football old, like it's a real thing. It's like it's a real thing. Yes, he's thirty nine years old. He's old already for football. Yes, and it's like, oh, what are you talking about? And you know, for those of you that don't know, my my, my wife's not. <laughs> she's not. She's not a football fan because right. she's not from this country. No, she's right? a, she's one she's, of the foreigners. She's, she's a foreigner, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> and all this learning about American culture and sports and all that. So I had to explain to her what what that meant, what I right. meant by that. By being, but right, but it it didn't matter. She didn't care. Yeah, <laughs> she, that's what I was thinking. I was like, she, you just wasted, she, you just wasted your. She breath. didn't care. I was like, so, oh, why do you ask me? <laughs> so uh, were there were there any commercials that you liked? Um, um, I thought the commercials overall were kind of weak. They were kind of weak. Of course, I loved all the all the movie trailers. The, yes, right? the movie trailers. Nothing more. Fantastic. I, and, and yes, I am biased, but I love the um, the commercials for Turkish Airlines yes. that were also for inside for Batman, Batman Superman. Superman yes, right? those are cool. I think my favorite commercials were the Kevin Hart, right, right, like the, the, the dad <laughs> the, commercial. The dad commercial. <laughs> Here, take the car. <laughs> and he just, I he just like <laughs> I thought that was genius. That was genius. And from my understanding, at work today, they were talking about like in polls. That was the, like the number one commercial that everybody oh, okay. liked. Okay. Right? And my second favorite that apparently had mixed reviews was the one with Helen Mirren. Oh, the drunk driving one. The drunk driving one. Yeah. I, I I liked it because I mean it's Helen Mirren, right? She's the Dame, Helen Mirren. Right. Right. She's yeah, but and she's, she's like you know I don't appreciate like some <laughs> British lady. Telling me that you can't drive that drunk, I can't drink and drive, <laughs> especially when she comes from a country where they really love to drink. <laughs> Doesn't matter, dude. That's she, all I'm saying. She sat there. America. She, <laughs> she sat there. I mean, 
Sadly, was a Budweiser. But she sat there, you know, being prim and proper. It's like, you're just the lowest form of human pollution. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, My, you know, I liked, I liked the Kevin Hart. I liked the Doritos one with the baby. Uh, in the oh, my God, I forgot the, about the that. The baby follows the ship. That was pretty hilarious. Um, and I don't know why. Um, the uh, There was one where a dog was driving and like, he had his puppy in the back. And the puppy like fell asleep. I think I missed that one. And then, and then the dog like he pulls into the driveway like you know he's driving his son like uh-huh. he fell asleep and he pulls into the driveway. And the little dog just starts barking again. And so you see the dog kind of look at him and he's like backs the car back out and starts to start driving again. I just I, don't, I thought that was freaking hilarious. And the Super Bowl baby commercials where they were like you know every city. Oh my god! The and then they sang at the end. Singing at the end with that was seal. dope. That was dope. Yes, that was. The fact that was Seal cool. was there, like, <laughs> just took it over the edge for me. That was cool. So, um, strangest thing. I like those. That Mountain Dew monkey pug, no, puppy monkey baby. baby yes. That that was freaky. I don't, I think. The, I <laughs> that, think that was a thing of nightmares. Up, whoever came up, yeah, whoever came up with that commercial, like, the team that put that commercial together, they need to get drug tested right away. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think, it had to be on something. Either they were, either they were on drugs or they drank like expired milk or something. No, no. Even worse, whoever allowed it to be made and paid the money to show yes. that yes, like whatever like who's for the Super around, Bowl. Yeah, who's sitting around going, "That's the commercial that I want to represent." Right, that's the commercial Mountain I want to pay five million dollars to be seen at the super, during the uh, Super Bowl. No, it, get it, out of here. Yeah, it was. No, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, no, no. I was no. I was watching the game with my dad and. And uh, we're watching it. And after it was over, I was like, I looked at him. I was like, what the heck was that? <laughs> Junie and I just stared at each other. Like, in, like the horror. Like, there was, like, no words. Right? It was like, what? Like, if that thing pop showed up in my house, I would I would not be, like, just looking at it. Or, or let it, let it jump sh- on me and lick my face. Right. Like. I, I, I would have shot it. <laughs> it would have been dead. Oh my goodness! But yeah, but so the Super Bowl, yeah, Super Bowl was great. Um, church, uh, church for uh, for me was great. We had a uh, um, uh, uh, Doctor Mike Maiden. Uh, he comes and he speaks a lot at our church. He uh, he okay. preaches and he uh, prophesies over people. Like he prays over people and God, right. you know, speaks to him. And uh, and it was just he had a, like just a really great message about uh, you know, just things breaking mm-hmm, breaking mm-hmm. through this year and. For me, it was cool because I was. That, that explains the text you sent me. Yes, yeah, so I was saying I was because he, you know, because he was saying some really cool stuff. Like just these these breakthroughs that were going to come and these things that were going to happen, and we had to push forward and, and move forward. And um, when I was sitting there listening. I, I honestly, this I what I thought of was this is outcry. Uh, you know, this is outcry. Something we've talked about for you know, three or four years probably where yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in, existed for, it's, it's been an idea, right? For, for about four or five years, yeah. but it's been mainly like events and, and like very, and events. very sporadic. And, mm-hmm. and we kind of say we haven't really been able to like to nail it down and really get like any kind of real momentum on it. Right. And, and so I went, when he was talking about that, like that momentum and that, and, uh, and things kind of breaking forward and going forward, this is, this is what popped into my head was, you know, the podcast we're really making an effort to it's episode four this is episode four yeah i mean we're, we're it's really, four it's four episodes more than we've done before then we've yeah <laughs> than we've done ever i think one time we we did a test like a little five minute thing when we we're trying to figure out how the computer right. would work uh and then it just kind of died on the vine and so that that's why i was, I was texting you things like yeah we got to push forward we got to move forward we got to really you know, push this because I really believe you know this is gonna this is gonna open up. I mean, I mean, shoot, uh, we were looking at our statistics on SoundCloud and we had one person from Mexico listen to us, <laughs> <laughs> and one person from Washington D.C., yeah, Virginia, um, Detroit. So you know, that's Obama. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> so Obama's Obama, listening to Obama our podcast. Was listening to our podcast. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> and um. Yeah, we, we got we got we got a like from somebody in LA. Yeah. That, uh, that, I, well, I saw was, today. Was, I saw today. Uh, I saw today somebody from New York, New York. Listen, that's how it was listed. Okay. And then Brooklyn, New York. Uh, somebody listened from Brooklyn, New York. So, um, thanks. Hey, if Brooklyn. that's you, if that's whoever, if if you're listening to this one to episode four, 
leave us a comment and let us know, you know, who you are. Because New York is home for me. So right. it, it would and be dope to like, you know, to connect with you guys. Hate. So <laughs> we definitely want to hear, want to hear uh, from where you're from. That, uh, talking about New York, um, somebody close to, to, to us as a ministry and me as a person, um, he suddenly yes. dropped her new single on Friday. Oh, that's right. Right. Um, let me talk. Let me, and I know you heard it. It's dope. It's really dope. I heard it a few times. Right. It's 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 um it's her first single off her now of her new album where she's now an independent artist. She's right. not signed with anything. She's right. in this new season with God, this new venture. Right. And um for that to be the first single it was, off it her was, album and I'm I'm looking forward to the rest yes, of the album. And and you know, um, uh, how funny that that it hit topics that have been that have been talked about. We talked about last week, and that have been talked to, talked about as far as in the Christian all week community. as far as yeah. Christian hip hop. It was so, almost like that was like the perfect yeah. It was closing. Great. It was great of, of the week that Christian hip hop music has been having. You want to hear something funny? So uh, her husband Tim he hit me up. Oh, did he? And he was like, he was like, and if Tim, if you're listening to this, yeah, I'm calling you out. He, you know, he's like, do you, how did you like it? And I was like, oh man, it was dope. You know, it came out around time. It was awesome. And he was like, really? You know, you're not just being nice. And I was like, look, dude, if I was being nice, I would just ignore you. Like if I, like if I didn't like it, I just wouldn't have responded to you. Well, I, I talked to him. I would have right? said nothing. Check this out. I talked to him and I, and he asked me the same thing. Like, what did you think? And I told him, you know what? Let me let me answer that a little later because right now I'm in my head and I'm just thinking that I was hoping that she would go a little harder. And he was like, "Are you crazy? Did you listen to the song? Right. She already came in hard." And I was like, yeah. "I'm just yeah, maybe it's just because I'm a jerk, right? Right, right? right? It's like maybe it's just it's personal. Like, it's I'm like, a jerk, so I want it harder." It's like what, right. you want her to name names. Yes. I was like, <laughs> it's, "It's like maybe. maybe it's like it's like it's almost like you wanted to go old school hip hop, no, but, like but the, in thing, the '80s where like they were like literally naming each yeah, other out. The last know? thing is all right, but the funny thing is that he said he said, "Well, Joaquin said he liked it, right?" And I'm like, "So." So, well, Joaquin said he liked it, and you know he knows he knows about Christian hip hop since since Christian hip hop started. Then I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna take his word. <laughs> take his word, and it was dope. It's like you, you're just being Jay right now. I, like, hey. I should mess with him. And like, that, and I like, should mess with him. That's what I said. I, I warned you. Let me listen to it again because I think I'm just being a little bit me right now. I should mess with him, and the next one I should be like, ah, y'all should let me listen to him before you drop him. <laughs> But no, it was, it's a it's a dope song. And very very. Uh, he suddenly actually we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and also uh, post it up on the website. The link I, I don't think it's been posted up on the no not on the yet website. not yet so not we'll yet. Go ahead and link it to the to the SoundCloud page because it needs to be. We'll link it to the SoundCloud page and we'll try to link it to. We'll, we'll link it to the website. To the website. We'll put it yeah. to the, on the website also because it it needs it needs to be heard. Yes. Not yes. only that, but you know we're we're not just friends. We're also fans. You know, yes. I've been a fan of. Of well, I'm, more, I'm more of a fan than a friend. Since, I, I met her like once, <laughs> but I've, I've been a fan of hers for years. Right, you're welcome. By for the years, way. and yes, <laughs> you introduced me to her music, and you know, became a big fan. It's it's hard right now in that genre of music. It's hard to find an, a female MC. Yes, that can like beast mode with anybody, hold her own right. with anybody. Right. There aren't there, that many. There, there's a few. You know, and there's a few young ones that they, they just need to put some work into it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's I'm not going to name names, but there's one specifically we've we've gotten into it about. Yeah, well, I, she, I, I I've talked to a lot of people about. You know, she's she, I, you know <laughs> she she's good, but she just needs she just needs the she work. needs to work on her craft. She needs to work on her. But craft. she's she's young and she's uh, yeah, she's, she's young. What, so like, she's 21. I have no idea she's how old like she is, crazy. but she's young. Not only is she young in age, but she's young in in this music thing. So. Yes. She she's got time and room to grow. If anything, we need to figure out a way to get her to, to hook up with Hisa so that she. Can I did that already. Hisa. I did that at the festival. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did that. So at the now festival. we that, need to work that, harder at making sure Hisa's <laughs> lessons are are, uh, are holding to, to this this girl. But but, um, but you know that that just like just that raw that raw rap that just like it's it's rare. Yes. It's rare. There aren't that many. You know, there's he's Well, son, not just that, but there's, there's like that son, broad there's... New York hip hop, which, right. which right. I, you know, I, which I is... love. 
which is not really around anymore, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but yeah, so so yeah, so he suddenly definitely um need to need to check her out. Also, um I can't the so I'm about to watch the war room um uh, on uh, Friday. On Friday. On Friday with my small group because that's what we're gonna be doing our, our small groups on. Cool. There's like you know they can you know how they with the Christian movies all a lot of times they'll come out with these studies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. actually I'm actually really excited because one of the things in our small groups we've done a lot of studying on the Holy Spirit, and so right, now we're right, right. now we're kind of shifting and the whole church is doing this. It's not just our small group, but all the small groups are doing the war room. The war room study. And it's about you know prayer and, that, uh-huh, and so uh-huh. I'm really excited because prayer is one of those things is it's it's hard for me sometimes because. I you know I'll, I'll either get in a rhythm where I'm just talking or I fall asleep. I'm sure there are a lot of us out there right, that can relate. Like we, <laughs> right, it's like Jesus, and I'm, I'm out. <laughs> it cures my insomnia. <laughs> talking to God cures my insomnia, but um, that's so bad. It is right, but all of you know, hey, everyone can relate. Yeah, yeah, everyone um, can. I'm sure. So yeah, so I'm really excited because um, I know that's definitely something in my life that I need. You know, I need to uh, get stronger in, you know, grow, grow in, in prayer right. in yeah. my prayer life and whatever. So uh, we got that. And then um, not this week, I think it's next week. Um, no, maybe it's not next week, but the following week. I think it's the last week in February. Risen. Risen. The movie. The movie comes out. Yes. Um, and for those of, for those of you that. that have that have not checked out, you need to check out Risen. Actually, we'll go ahead and put the the trailer on the site also. Okay. Because yeah, we'll do that. Uh, basically, the movie the movie takes uh, place. The movie's about the Roman um, soldier commander who uh, gets tasked with investigating what happened to the body of Jesus. Right. Like supposedly he's the guy that, that was tasked with making sure that Jesus the body died. stays in the yes. tomb and that. You know that he's, he's that he that, dies. He's the one that gave the command for the right. soldier to stab Jesus on the side, and so they're like, "The body's been stolen. Where's it at?" And he is, and he's an, he's definitely an unbeliever. He's not a believer, right? and he's investigating to find out what happened to the body. And in and in the midst of that, from what I've gathered, the trailer, um, he becomes uh, a believer or or becomes less becomes skeptical a, or he whatever. becomes a yeah. follower. If we're gonna keep it. In time that he becomes a follower of the way. Yes, but it's it's. I mean the the but, trailer is amazing. Yeah, the trailer is awesome. Yeah. So keep, that's so we're gonna also and, put and that. Then, and then the thing is that, that right? and the then the side. thing is that it's not like it's 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 a list actors. Yes, right that are that are that are in this movie. Like you know it's 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 are Ray they, Fiends. They, you know. Yeah, I mean he's, they, he's not. At least, or at least they're known actors. It's not so <laughs> guy, right? You're like, ah. I mean, he's not his brother, but you know, he's, like, hey, he's still out guy. there. I've seen that guy in a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't that Shakespeare? <laughs> you know, so that's right. <laughs> so, um, so Risen, so we'll, we'll also, uh, Jay will also put that. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. On the website because, uh, you know, we always, we always complain about, you know, biblically based movies not, not showing up. And this actually looks like, um, uh, you know, it's not, it's not Bible based, but it's set in that time. But it's set in that time, and, and it's, it looks it looks like it's. it's I mean, it's really, it's, really it's, cool. it's not Bible based, but it's Jesus based. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna nice. throw it out there. So that should be uh, also. Oh, next month, David. Right? Is it next month? Ah, uh, you told me. I don't. Right, remember. right, right, right. It's gonna be on Tuesdays on ABC. On Tuesdays. Like this is all like movie yeah, and the- TV stuff. It's um. What is it called? Of of Kings and Prophets, I think it's called. Is that what it is? Uh, and it's based on on the story of David. Uh, of David, when and uh, it's got Saul and, mm-hmm. and so the whole. And it's going to be on ABC. And, and it's going to be and it's set in, in that time. It's set in that time. So yeah. it, the trailer looks pretty movie. pretty. So you know, we'll go ahead and put <laughs> that. Trailer. We're going to put everything out so, there. So you know, we're just going to put all that out there for you know the. With I can say this with confidence, with the eight of you that are listening. Oh, um, actually, no. We get more than eight listeners. Yes, we do. We do. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I see and I, that. I, honestly, yeah. we're, at, we're averaging like twenty, like per podcast. Actually, we're, there was one. Pod, so. Yeah, there was one that it was um thirty. So now ten of those was probably me listening to it, <laughs> <laughs> listening to myself. I'm um, going. I can't believe I said that. No. Um. So yeah. So like some really, really, really uh cool stuff. Uh, God's Not Dead Two is coming out. Us uh, in the next uh, couple of months it's coming out in April. Um, I know the newsboys are 
they've been to- they've they've started a tour uh for that. All right, if we're gonna go back to music, I mean um there's gonna I, I guess there's gonna be an episode of just doing shout outs, right? Um yes. Young Noah, he and I'm gonna say this because because he's been doing a lot of stuff like low key. Right. Right, that it's not out there in the open or whatever, but Young Noah is um is also an MC. He's a he's a he's a C C H H artist, Christian hip hop artist. And he did a song with Audio Adrenaline. Nice. Right? It's like two genres that normally don't connect, don't get right. together. Even but- though, even <laughs> though most people don't know this, but Audio Adrenaline, when they their very, very first album, they actually rap in it. Really? Because they were You're gonna have to find that album for because, me. I know you have it somewhere here. I might have it somewhere there. <laughs> because they were trying because DC Talk had hit. Right. And this is when DC Talk was like rapping. And so they were you know, they had hit and they were like popular. So they were like, We need another group. You know, like we want another group like DC mm-hmm. Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Audio Adrenaline uh was kind of their first album. They kind it was the rock with the the, the rock with the hip hop and the, you know, and then uh from there they they were, that was like that's not really their thing, and they kind of shifted and ended up. I, have, I never knew that. I never heard yes. that one. I'm yes. glad because I, <laughs> I, I, I like audio adrenaline. I will find. I you know what? I don't know. I, I I'm cheesy anyway. I like the album. I thought, it was, <laughs> I thought it was cool, but that's just me. So anyway, Young Noah did a song with Audio Adrenaline, right? right? I think it's um, I don't want to say the wrong name. <laughs> but you, long way to go. Long I way believe. to go. And you said they released the video. And today. Today they release. He released a video. Nice, a video for it. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Because I'm not. I'm not real familiar with Young Noah. Um, I know I've heard him, but I've never really like paid much attention to him. The thing that sticks out that that for me, Young Noah sticks out in is that he was with us at at um at the festival in Kentucky, and before he got on stage, right to perform. Like he was behind the stage praying. Okay. Right. Not a lot of artists do that. Right. Right. He was behind the stage praying, and then um, when we spoke and we 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 talked about you know God's love and forgiveness, whatever, he was one of the first artists, him and um, Plain James, one of the first artists to like jump off the stage and go out into the crowd and pray and for and people, pray for kids and stuff. Okay. You that's know, cool. so there right. there aren't that many there aren't that many of them that do that. A, a, there are a lot, you right, know, right. like, 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 yeah, I mean, yeah, but, but not, not many, certain, not many. Right, at, yeah. I mean, at certain, certain at times it's weird, right? Cause you'll have mm-hmm. artists where sometimes they don't do that. Sometimes they do, but it's cool if it's somebody that just consistently. Yes. Yes. Consistently like it's, does that. he, he does that consistently. Um, social club. I know I've, I've done or been a part of events with social club where, like at the end yeah, of their social clubs, another rap group. They're another rap group based out of Miami, and um, at the end of the concerts, right. like they're adamant, you know, like, hey, you know, yeah, we'll we'll sign, yeah, we'll go right. and we'll sit and we sign, but you know, let us go out and hang out with the kids, right? Right, let's go out there and take pictures and hang out with the kids because right. yeah, you know that's 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 like that's what they're about. So that's that's, that's cool. It's dope right. when you see right. when you see that. Yeah, um, it is, especially when they're. Because they're pretty popular for being independent artists, so it's yeah, always they, cool. They are. It's always cool when when um. And then, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do, do something else. Is you took it to TV? I'm gonna take it to fashion. Oh, well, <laughs> right. I'm gonna take it to fashion. Yeah, I do. Go, go ahead. And I talk. do. But this grateful, grateful apparel dropped um two new designs. Okay. Right. One one of them is called is the Beware, and it's 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 the design. I mean, I'm a designer, so I see these things, and it's right. like like it blows me away. They took like a a torn picture of a wolf and a lamb okay right like it's the, like if it's a, like a lamb wolf and they're like lamb you know be lamb lamb and wolf's clothing like being bold and whatever right. in the word and like it's just the whole is design it beware, thing. isn't it beware of wolves and sheep's clothing? wolves and sheep's clothing right dirt beware, beware. <laughs> <Right>, beware. <laughs> <laughs> i haven't even seen the shirt and i had to explain it to him beware on, wolves and sheep's clothing but <laughs> and and god we trust with um, an image of Ben Franklin and his mouth is taped over. It's it's just it's 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 pretty cool stuff. Huh? It's pretty, yeah. Like the the images, the imagery okay. of it is I'm is very impacting. Check, so it's it. it's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah I'll you check can that check. Out then. And and of course, I have to shout them out because like Grateful Apparel sponsors a lot of our events. Yes, they're, they did. they're they, like they, the they definitely did. they they're, they're they sponsored the entire tour for the summer the summer and festival, yeah. there are a lot of a lot of other things that we're working on. 
you know, I wouldn't want to be attached to anyone else. To anyone else, because right. not just because of the clothes. The clothes are uh, the clothes are. Uh, I'm old school. The clothes are banging, you know. Right. But like the ministry and the work that that the owner right. that Ray I've, does. I've, yeah, I've read. I've read. Um, I read a few things. I've seen a couple of videos about him, and yeah, he definitely. You know, just from my perspective, from what I've seen, just yeah, very yeah. legit. You know, really does care about the ministry, the ministry portion of it. Yes, um, definitely. You know, he doesn't just view it as you know my shirts, but as and it seems like not just the shirts, but even like other stuff he's into that this ministry. You know, it's yeah, not yeah. Just he's got um, where a shirt design company, the three hundred and sixty house where they oh, minister to is it addicts to addicts, homeless, guys, guys or people that just got out of jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know, read about it's, that. it's very cool. You know that that alone should should make everyone yeah, that listens he uses to this. The, he uses the funds from the shirts to buy, yeah, buy everything. Just empty out that warehouse that he has. Yeah, but he, you know. he needs to have like super fat guy sizes for me to. Actually, he does now. Those two designs see. they come in in, in two super, and three XL. Super, super fat guy size. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like he he created that size <laughs> just, for that. Just, just for me. <laughs> I'll say like take three of the shirts. Cut them up, sew them together, and I'll and I'll Dude, buy. You're not you're not that big. I'll buy the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray, there you go. You got the challenge. You got to make a quinito size. <laughs> but um, so yeah, man. So you know, it's just uh, it's very cool. Like just um, how you know, and actually how just a lot of stuff is just happening. There's a lot of a lot of very um, a lot of very cool stuff. Um, I mean, just I was just telling you earlier, and I thought this was in. Uh, I saw this article from January where they found in Turkey an underground church that was, um, they believe, at fifteen hundred years old, if not older, with uh, that's with, amazing with frescoes, paintings of you know Jesus, you know the Ascension and the Last Judgment, and, you know, and so I, you know when I read that, I was just you know in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, if you think like fifteen hundred years, they say eighteen hundred years. Any pictures of that? Um, there is a there. There was there was an article that I saw, but they didn't really. The pictures were, you know, you really didn't get to see that. You know, you just kind of saw the. All right, so the we're gonna we're stuff. gonna find a site that has good pictures and imagery and, we'll and put it up on the website. We're putting a whole bunch of stuff on the website. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I was thinking to myself, wow. So if you think like, let's say fifteen to eighteen hundred years, like, you know how close they were, right to uh to when Christ walked the earth, and in my mind, I just think you know. Uh, you know, we get so caught up a lot of times in, you know, churchy type stuff, you know, like, well, we don't do this. We do that. Or we like this. We don't like that. And man, these people are just there just worshiping God. They they actually do have the pictures. Oh, okay. They got some pictures. Got... Awesome. So, so we'll, oh we'll get that posted. It's very cool stuff. And this is stuff that's never been seen. Like, they oh, were, this is so they were doing dope. some. They were doing some work, I think, like to build like some, you know, like some uh, buildings and stuff. And they like ran across this this uh, underground city almost yeah, and, underground and, city in Turkey and uh, so it's very cool stuff so we're it's always very like very cool to see that kind of thing just the kind of the history um of of our faith and of the, the the believers that walked you know walked before us Cappadocia 1500 old Byzantine church founded in an underground city it's funny how in a lot of these countries construction workers Become archaeologists, right? Right. right. Just yeah, just by just, doing their jobs, dig, they're just digging to lay a foundation, and boom, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred <laughs> year old historic church. That's now that's we'll, awesome. what would be cool would be to go visit that church because Turkey's Turkey's a place safe place to go visit. To go, is it? It is to go visit. How cool would it be to go and have like a worship service in that church? Uh, you, that would be I don't, that, that would be, be so mind amazing, blowing, right? It's like you go and you know, you're worshiping. You get like. Yeah, it's got somebody preaching, and and it's like you're 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 participating with the believers from 1500 years ago. That would be awesome, you know. That, that would be that awesome. Did they open of, it up for that? You know, those heroes. We, those, we, uh, we should do that, even if it's just us yes. and we and we sing two or three songs <laughs> and, and, and we read a few Bible verses. <laughs> right. It doesn't have to be a big um, thing. It doesn't have to be a amazing. bunch of people. Be just just us. Or you know what? And this is gonna be like another, <laughs> it's like another right. plug, because I know we, you know, we know somebody who would be bold enough to like do this, and we just, yes. we just go along with them. But um, Todd White will be here at the end of the month, or the nineteenth, right? Was it the nineteenth? The nineteenth, the nineteenth, yeah, the because like the worship team from your church, right, will be the worship team for that event. Yes. So 
Todd White could be that guy. We go, we go <laughs> right? with him, right? We go with him because if it's just us, we'll do what I just said. We'll sing two songs quietly by ourselves, and read the actually, Bible, and actually, take a lot of pictures. Yeah. But Todd White will be that guy, show up with his guitar, and do an actual service, yeah, bring breathe. people in. <laughs> Right. We'll get kicked out of the country, but it would be worth it. Ah, I don't think we'll get kicked out. I don't believe it. But, uh, <laughs> I just, you know, um, I, so it's just funny, I guess. Um, you know, it's just, um, you know, just the idea of just all the cool stuff that God is doing. And we get so bogged down a lot of times and, you know, just, oh, God, we need this or Right. You know, I can't believe people are doing this. We need to be more like, you know, and it's just like, man. Yeah, we, we get so caught up on the trivialness of the day-to-day. Yeah. Right? That yeah. we don't realize that God is There's still of doing really cool stuff all happening. of these amazing <laughs> things throughout the world. Right? right. Even just in our backyard, you know, he's doing these amazing things. Right. But we get caught up in the, oh, my God, I can't believe I, I got to go to work on Monday. Yeah. I can't believe these people are doing that. Oh. <laughs> church I, we get all we get all worked up i mean i, I was excited because i found out a, there's a new record store a record shop in woodstock is so there I'm, yeah uh that, I, that i'm gonna go check out <laughs> in a couple of weeks so hey yay actually for I, me. I drove past the record store you mentioned before in ackworth that you go to yes, <laughs> I've yes. they're moving they're moving to like a bigger location and oh I'm, I'm really excited for bigger them. location means more records right yes so, yes that's, that's more cool. more me being broke but <laughs> huh. Well, that being said, hey, um, you, you get broke. You, you, you get broke buying records. I get broke buying um, Funko Pop vinyls. Well, but which I, I, which has become my newest obsession. Like right, my, my, right. Mark, that tells me the other day. You know what? You started buying these things for the baby, for the, right? They right. were never and, for the baby. And, <laughs> and now, and, and now that the Justice League is set and in his room and it looks nice. Now you keep buying more stuff for you. Right. You need to get some <laughs> shelves. Like you need to start putting shelves in your in, where you got your fun, you know, your your Funko so you can like have them in, in their little teens and stuff. <laughs> right. Now I'm gonna take the ones out of the baby's room. <laughs> <laughs> slowly, they'll slowly start disappearing one by one. <laughs> oh my goodness. You'll be like, yeah, why well, but... I need to have both the Justice Leagues. Right, because my, my thing is um, you know, I wanna I wanna assemble teams, right? Right. I want to unite the seven. I'm like getting real dorky with it all. Just, eh, no, we need it. No, we need this. No, we need it's just... You need to be careful, though, because then you're going to be like, because, well, you know, they have the friend, the Funko Pop friends. They have the friends. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. And I'm just interested the... in, in, in the superheroes. I bet you I bet you they come out with the Seinfeld, Seinfeld characters, you'd all of a sudden be interested. No, I would, I would probably buy the friends Funko Pops before I buy Seinfeld. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I thought you. I thought you always liked Seinfeld more than Friends. No, 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 no. I like them both equally, but like I would rather have like a Funko Pop of like Rachel and Chandler and yes. Ross and Monica than like Costanza. Yes, true. But I, I would get Kramer. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't make a Kramer. There's no doubt they, about that. They I'll get Kramer because remember he got in trouble a few. Years that's ago. all right. God forgave him. <laughs> if not, I forgave him. <laughs> Hollywood has it. <laughs> But um, yeah, so it's it's funny the stuff we get. Um, sometimes we get so because I've been I've been collecting some of the little Funkos also with just the Batman because I like Batman and so I've been just getting all the Batman ones that I can find and it's just it's a mess it's a mess but <laughs> you know what um man so it's just about you know um uh, it's, it's fun and I think that you know we just need to have sometimes we we just need to do things that we like and just have fun that's one of the things that I know for me this year was kind of like, look, I'm going to pick a couple of things. I'm just going to get into it and just enjoy it and, you know, just run and run with it. And, Me, I'm just a big kid. You know, that's just the deal. Well, <laughs> just, I'm just a big kid. I, I, yeah, I mean, uh, like I think I said a couple of, couple of weeks ago, right, that's why I need to get married because <laughs> I'm way too much of a big kid. I'm going to end up in ruins. <laughs> but you're more, you're more like into like the records and, yes. and tech. Yes. Even though my tech stuff has really gone down because I've I've gotten That's more true. into the record have, stuff. It and, has. And uh records, guns, <laughs> and Funkos. That's like that's that's kind of been my <laughs> very, <laughs> very America. I'm very America. Um, <laughs> love America. But uh so anyway, so with that being said, so, you know, the idea of the we've been talking about all this stuff that's coming up. All this is, you know, really exciting stuff. So let's kind of let's kind of step into uh, then this question for you, Jay, and this is the question I'm going to have for you. Okay. 
And that is, you know, next week I'm gonna have a question for you. Hey, you, can have, you can have all the questions. <laughs> Say, last week you had a question for me. Now you have it. That's gonna be like the new. Because, that's gonna be the new thing. That's because that's because I'm the driver <laughs> of this. Like, so so I'm I'm the that's guy. True, that's that, true. I'm the guy that is setting the the table for you to uh, lay down a verbal meal. It's that's kind of a disgusting. That's kind of weird. Kind of a weird picture. But we'll, we'll we'll roll with it. So Jay. Oh, here they are. So Jay, you know we've talked about. Um, so we've we've been talking about a lot of stuff, and 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 a lot of it has been has has been about what's been going on, kind of outside of um, our our realm, or or kind of outside of our sphere, right? Because you know uh, we talked about the hip hop and the cinema right. and all this different stuff, and and just kind of conversations that we that we're always hearing. And that's that's what. I tends to spur a lot of our discussions when we start getting into the Bible and stuff is that we'll, we'll see an article or we'll hear something or a, like video a video or yeah, something. Yeah. And, and it'll be like, Hey, watch this video. Can you believe this guy said this? <laughs> or, or, or like, you know, for example, uh, Jay sent me, <laughs> Jay sent me a video this week and it was some woman preaching. And then she was talking in, in Spanish and then she was talking about like, Oh, take out your guns to fight the, the enemy. And oh my like, God, she was singing. And, and then, yeah, she was singing. And <laughs> that's what it was. She was singing, and she was like, "Take out your guns!" And that I was, was like, that was that was like the hook. So, so I'm like, so I'm like, is this a church song or just a reggaeton song? <laughs> and somehow I turned it into a Jamaican thing. But <laughs> so 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 you know so that kind of spurred this conversation with me and Jay had it like this is so weird right it's like such a weird thing I, these people do um so let's kind of bring it let's bring it in a little bit one of the things that, that we want to do here at Overflow um and that this is our cry is that we you know we want to be just kind of ourselves we want to be honest with people and and so I think, I think it's very apparent I, that I, we're very much ourselves. I, I hope, I hope, I hope. No, actually, I'm I'm a much more serious person when I'm when I'm live. Um, right now I'm recorded, so I'm, <laughs> so I'm I'm goofier. Um, but one of the things we always want to share and we always want to talk about and and we always, we just kind of want to be transparent. And I know that's a word that gets thrown thrown around a lot, but you know we want to share this, you know not just kind of big ideas that we run across or we run into. We want to share things even like hey. This is what I've been learning. This is what God's been teaching me. So, uh, so Jay, so so with that kind of setup, <laughs> you know, and, and this is kind of this is the direction we're gonna go. So we're gonna put Jay on the spotlight. He loves it because, as he likes to say, oh, I am a preacher, and they love to talk. So Jay, <laughs> so Jay, um, what has God been teaching you? What has God been teaching you lately, or what have you been hearing from God lately in your life? Well, you see, Joaquin, I've been, no. <laughs> um, a variety of things, a variety of things. But I want to keep it specific to, like, that video, right? Because okay. that video reminded me of where God yanked me from okay. and, and what he's taught me because of that. What Well, what he's taught me where I can now... What makes up basically who I am now, right? Right, and how I see things now, and how I respond to things now, because I, I don't, I, I believe I started telling you about another video, right? Right, it was it wasn't the ra ta ta ta, but it was basically something else, right? So, um, God, what what He's been teaching me is is how to love people, okay? Right, how to love people, um, where they are, how they are. Okay. And um, how to respond to people in in a way that he responds to me, right? Okay. How to how to be with people and how to speak to people, whether they're believers or not. Right. How <laughs> whether uh, they're family members, whether or not. they're family members <laughs> or not, uh, how he speaks to me. Because right. I mean, I mean, the Bible is is very very clear on a lot of things on how to speak. And how to react, or not even react, how to respond to people, whether it is whether it is fat, whether it's family or right. not. Right. Like you know, if you 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 go to the you go to the guidebook, you know, say, hey, well, if you've done this about eighty times, then it, it's okay to um 
to turn around and walk away. Right. Right. Because, I, you know, I mean, let's be honest. If we don't turn around and walk away, you might spaz out. Right. Right. If we keep getting smacked in the face, right, like, right. turn yeah, the other cheek, yeah. turn the other cheek, turn the other cheek. You know, after a while, you know. <laughs> you turn yeah. I mean, sometimes you have to do like Joseph. Um, and you have to run out of there naked. Like, you just have to <laughs> flee. Forget. You just leave everything behind. Just forget about it. Forget it. Just go. You can always get a new bed sheet or a new robe or whatever to cover your cell phone. <laughs> right. So, yeah. You know, what he's been teaching me, and, and, and not just lately. This is, this is an ongoing lesson. Right. right. It's an ongoing lesson. A lesson. Lesson. <laughs> I'm Southern all of a sudden. <laughs> an ongoing lesson where... And 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 I'll and I'll admit I don't always get it right right or I don't always learn it the first time right right or practice it or practice it right, right yeah. <laughs> but um That's just the case. To, to to love people where they are right right to respond to them as God responds to me whenever I do something that's out of pocket and um to um to like try to call out that identity of, 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 of God in them, you know, to, to be, to speak to them in love. It's just, man, just to love and compass is all, you know, God is love. So, and all who abide in God abide in love. Right. So, right. Right. You so know, basically that. All right. So, so learning, so then just kind of, you know, learning to, uh, to love people, which is funny because, you know, we've, we've had talks and, I'm always telling you, I'm always telling you, so, right? Sometimes I'm always like, come on, dude, you need to be a little more graceful with that person. And you're just like, no, I don't want to be. And the first reaction is, I am being graceful. Am being, I'm not knocking I'm not, him out. I'm not talking to them. That's me being graceful. I'm being graceful. I'm not punching him in the throat right now. Let's be real, you know? Or I'm being graceful by not continuing the conversation uh, with them. So right? But that, about. but, 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 and, and I'll admit, you know, I'm, I'm the right. one that's saying that. I'll admit that. That is a very J response. Right. Right. That's how I respond because my feelings were hurt or I felt attacked or, or threatened or, or whatever. whatever right. Or I'm right. But that's not that's that's what I mean by, you know, to respond to them as God responds to me. Because right. when I'm a knucklehead to the Lord and I shake my fist at God, right, he's he doesn't go, Well, that's it. I'm done with you, you're dead to me, right? right. God he he shows me so much grace and mercy. Right. right. The fact that I'm still alive and breathing and being able to tell you these things shows that he's been very merciful with me. Right. And right? that's and that's hard, right? Because it's like um I I, I kind of uh, the example that I just popped in my head is kinda of like, you know, when you go out, go out to eat at a restaurant and sometimes your waiter or your waitress might just be terrible. Right. And then and then you get all frustrated because they're not they're not very good. But then if you or, or you think they're not very good or they're not, uh, uh, you know, they're not uh, attending to you the way you think you should be attended to. Right. Um, but then sometimes if you if you take a step back and you think, well, wait a minute, you know, could there be something going on in this person's life? Exactly. That's causing them to not do their job as well. And exactly. I know some people would say, oh, it doesn't matter. They're, that's their they're, job that's their and job whatever. Order. But how many times, have, you know, we've gone to work. And, I mean, I know if I, can, I can speak for myself where I, I remember I had a couple of days where I was, I don't know what was, like, just my head wasn't on right. Just, I don't know what was going on. And. Man, I was just screwing up at work. Not not huge screw ups, but there was just little things that <laughs> you'd be unemployed. If, yeah, you know, <laughs> but little just little things that normally I catch. Right. And then I do. And and you know, my my supervisor, you know, my manager and supervisor both were like, dude, like what's what is going on? Because <laughs> you're missing like these really simple things that you know and I had to I had to step back and I'd be like, Look guys, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> let me, you know, I'm gonna like shake my head a little bit and, you know, and kind of refocus and, and get on track. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. Right. I'm, so yeah, it's, it's, it's showing, it's showing that person, right. Compassion, right. If is what I'm, is what I'm picking right. up saying, look, good word. I understand. I don't understand. I might not know what's going on with you. Um, but I'm still going to be patient with you and loving. And I'm going to try to be understanding, even though right. I don't understand, which are all fruits of the spirit. Which are all fruits of right? the spirit. All right. fruits of the spirit, which will bring us closer to acquiring the character of God. Right. 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 So yeah. You and know, I, it's 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 easy, right? I'll <laughs> say it's easy to react. 
Yes. Right. And wild out and get angry and flip a table over and be, uh, be upset. Right. It's godlike to take a step back. Right? right. Take a step away and realize that we're all people. Right. And as God loves us and as he is merciful and gracious and kind to us. Right. He is with that person also. Right. Like the psalm, the psalmist says that, that, that the rain falls on, on the just and the wicked. Right. Right. Not, you know, it's not just, just us that get it. Right. So a lot of that it's, it's, it's hard. Right. Especially it's hard, especially when it's family. <sighs> right. Tell me about especially it. Especially when it's family. <laughs> That's, cause, cause we tend to, we tend to like, we tend to know what's going on in their lives. Um, and so that, that, you know, and you, and as a, as a sibling, I'm, an, I'm, I'm the oldest of my siblings. Um, and so sometimes it's like, you just want to like shake them and be like, ah, you're being an idiot. You know, like <laughs> I know what's best for you, but that's not, we, we can't do that. Right. We, we got to let them, you know, make their mistakes and, and do their thing. And the, the best thing we can, uh, you know, ever do for them is just to be there and not write them off you know, and pray for them, you know, pray for them and, and be there and be there for them. You know, don't give them money. Necessarily, <laughs> I'm at, you, know, you can buy them lunch, but <laughs> no, I'm not gonna pay your rent. But um, yes, but so so God's been teaching you just kind of how to just kind of that that idea then, right? Just how to um, yeah, just to, to be more compassionate, to be more compassionate, to be more Christ like, right? Because because it's funny, and I understanding, and I, and I say this, I've known you, I know I've known you a long time, and so I know I I know I can say this without your feelings getting hurt, but it's <laughs> that, that that would matter, but that, that, right? But <laughs> Um, you know, it's, it's funny we say, cause, cause part of that is, is from that, that New York upbringing. And one thing I've noticed is that, you know, there seems to be a, a bit of a harder edge, yes. uh, right. To, you know, to people from up North and, and we'll just say up North. Maybe it's just, maybe it's the cold yeah, we that have, just makes we, you we, we tend angry. To <laughs> tougher skin, you know, um, and, and so you, you a tend, little more blunt, a little more short tend, with things. Yeah, you tend mm-hmm. to have a little a little less patience, right? Um, with with things, which is, um, you know, not always good, especially when it comes to relationships, right? And I think, but at the same time, you know, and, I'm, and I'm, obviously that happens that happens all over the place. But I'm just uh-huh. saying, in our in our relationship as friends, that's the one thing that I know um, I can see where God's been been working with you in that. From when I first oh, met you many God. years, many years ago, you, you remember years ago. My favorite yeah. line was "You're dead to You're me." Dead to me, right? yeah. So you know, and I, and, but you know, and I will say, I have put in a lot of work to help soften some of those edges. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sensei. <laughs> well, there, there are oh, a few. Grasshopper. There are a few things, right? Because culture wise, right, right, culture wise, we're raised, we're raised a different way, right, right, culture wise, being being Puerto Rican, right, and then being from New York, also you. you Less patience, more short, more right. blunt, more brusque, right? But then also, like, as far as church is concerned and God is concerned, like, I was raised legalist. Right. So in legalism, it's black and white. Right. Right? There's always, these, so, are, the ru- these are the rules. Right. You adhere to these rules or right. you go to hell. And it's, most, and right? it's mostly black <laughs> in the sense that, like, the black is the, is the stuff you can't do. Right. So it's mostly, like... It's like mostly black, like ninety percent black, and then like one percent white, right? Ten percent white. I mean, it's it's crazy, <laughs> you know the 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 set of rules that you have to adhere to. That not only does it affect how you relate to people, right? Right, and how you respond or react to people, but it also distorts your view of who God is, right? Right. So it's not. A legalist God has no time or room for love, right? Right, because you can't. Well, he does if if you are if you adhere to the thousand rules that, right. they, that you have given, to earn his then, love. Then he then he'll love you, right? You right. Have, it's, it's, it's not. You don't do my rules. Right? It's not like you know God is just God is love. Legalist God is love if you take these necessary steps yeah, to wear, reach it. Wear a suit and tie to church. Have the right shoes. You know, right. don't chew gum in the in the in the building. Be clean shaved. Be clean shaven. Right. For uh, the for the women, have the holy unibrow. You know, no makeup. <laughs> <laughs> well, holy unibrow isn't a well. No makeup. No makeup. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they gotta wear those clunky shoes. Right, wear the big clunky <laughs> shoes and the and 
The long skirts. And they always got to be jean skirts. I don't know what the deal is, but they're long I, jean I, skirts. You know what? I didn't grow up in that, so I, <laughs> I thank Jesus every minute of every day. I know. You can't cut your hair. I, grew up, I mean, it's, it's growing crazy. Growing up in the South, I grew up nice. Right? The mustache. Right. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm not talking about on men because men had to be clean shaved. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Oh, Maria. But, um, <laughs> the funny thing is that the people from New York that will listen to this, if they grew up this way, none of them will get angry. They will all stand up and clap in agreement. And they will, un- and they will understand. So, um, Especially the Spanish church. So, we, yeah, so I mean, so, and we kind of we kind of went out. We, we, we did what we tend to do. We, we did kinda, what we always do. We kinda, we kinda, <laughs> so let's bring it back. We kind of zigged when we needed to zag. Um, all right, so... So you've been learning compassion, you've been, or to be more compassionate, uh, to try to be more understanding, uh, more loving, to to try to see people um, as uh, not as you see them, but as God sees as God them. sees them. Yes. You know? Okay. Um. So then, let me ask you this, and and this is kind of how we'll begin, kind of winding it down. Is uh, so? What do you think then? Are some practical ways to uh, are some practical ways or some practical things that we could do, right? So that we can show um, more grace, more love, more mercy, um, more kindness uh, to those like our family members or the strangers on the street, you know, that kind of thing. Well, it's funny, right? I'm, I'm listening to your to, to your question. And the one thing that, was playing in my mind over and over as you were asking it was that Jesus considered everyone, his brothers and sisters. Okay. Right. Everyone was his brothers and sisters. Okay. And I know you said that thing about family, but the thing with family is that even though family will drive us crazy the most, we are more, we are, we are, we will forgive family a lot faster and sooner than like, like a church person or like a coworker, right? Okay. Be- because because they're family. So I think that the the practical things that we can do, I mean, number one is always keep, like always keep God in mind, right? Okay. Always have Jesus on the brain. Always think about you know as um, I believe it's um Philippians four eight and nine that all things that are good, all things that are high, all things that are true. You know, think 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 on on these things, things, right? right? So if you keep God in your mind at all times and you, and, and because this is what I do, I'm going to, I'm going to just going to go by what I do. I, I, I try to, I try to face or respond to every situation that comes at me by taking a step back and it doesn't work all the time, right? right? Because I'm very reactionary, but most times I try to face things with people or with circumstances as I feel God faces them with me. Okay. Right. So, so if someone, someone comes, you know, flies off at the mouth at you, right. It's very easy for you to just snap back and start yelling back. Right. Right. Because of a few things, because of who we are as people, as people, we get offended fast. We want to defend ourselves. Right. right? We want to justify our actions. You know, we tend to yell back without even listening to what's being said. Right. Right. Unless you're Puerto Rican, it's not yelling. <laughs> that is not yelling. You're just you're just having a conversation. <laughs> it's a conversation. Right? But but when we fall short, right, as the word says, all have fallen short of the glory of God, right? When we fall short, God doesn't yell at us. Or God doesn't like strike us with lightning or whatever. God right. sits there and he's understanding. He knows that we were born into sin and it's easier for us to sin than it is for us to not sin. Right. So he's he's understanding to it with us. He's he's gracious with us. He's merciful and he loves us to the point that we can come to him and repent daily, you know, and we get renewed daily, forgiven, forgiven daily. So the practical thing, someone yells at me, I try to stay quiet. Right. Try to understand right. that, you know, maybe it's not this person yelling at me, but they're having a bad day. Right. Or their right? Circumstance. They're having a bad right. day. Maybe something happened you know, with their job or with their family, you right. know, so I, I, I try, I'm not going to say I do it all the time or I'm right. successful all the time, but I try to just stay quiet and just listen. And, you know, because, Hey, 
maybe it's not something that's from the family or the job or a bad day. Maybe I really did screw up. Right. But because I'm seeing it through my eyes, I don't see it as a screw up. Right. Right. Because pride, I'm going to be, you know, pride first. I'm going to defend myself first. So maybe I did do something wrong. So, right. I, so I stop and I listen. And if I did something wrong, I apologize. Or if not, I try to understand where they're coming from, uh-huh. you know, consider the source and, and show God's love by not reacting, not like yelling back or fighting back. You know, if, he, if I see someone homeless in the street and Magda will tell you, you know, she'll, she'll, <laughs> she'll be a witness to this, right? Cause I bring lunch to work all the time. But if I see somebody that's, that that is in need in the street, like I'll give them that lunch. This is why we have to keep buying like Tupperware, right. plastic, right? Because right? I'll go, I'll honk the horn, I'll stop traffic. I don't care. I'll call them over. I'll give them money if I have if I have cash on me, right. and I'll give them my food. I'll tell them what it is, right? Because some some homeless people who do <laughs> do, it, do adhere to like certain <laughs> diet <laughs> dietary needs. Dude, no lie, it happened to me. It happened to me in New York. I gave somebody. I went to Subway, got a sandwich, saw a guy in front of the office building where I, where I had my office in, and you know, asking for money for food. And I gave him my sam my my bag, my Subway bag, and I was starving. Right. right. I hadn't eaten all day, but I saw him. I gave him my bag of food, and the dude said, "Thank you, thank you." Then he looked at me and said, "Wait." He looked in the bag. Does not have pork? Right? Because I don't eat pork. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> right? But regardless, you know, there's grace for that as well. Right. Right? I, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I got mad and I took the bag back. Right? So, <laughs> I got angry because I like, I'm giving you, I'm sacrificing my meal. Right? right. And, and you're going to, you're not going to eat pork. You're not gonna eat pork. It's not pork. What? It's turkey. <laughs> Actually, it was tuna fish, but still. Right? But, um, you know, there's grace even in that. In all things, and this is, I think this is the hardest part of, of walking with Christ, that in all things, with all people, we need to show Christ before we show right. them Jay, right? Before I show who Jay is, I need to show people who, who God is, right? right. And I'm not always successful. Right. And God knows I'm not always successful. Right. But it's, it's, it's a process. It's a growth process. That, right? And the closer I get to him, the easier it gets. The closer I get to him, the easier it gets. Right. You know, but it's not... It's not that that we have it done, right? That we're perfect in it, right? Right? Because that's not God doesn't God doesn't call us into perfection. He calls us into forgiveness and repentance, right? And repentance. Right. I think we touched on this a couple um, couple episodes ago, right? Repentance is that that turnaround, right? Right from like so, the so knucklehead then, stuff so we've done. Kind of keep it. So that's kind of this. Uh, this is I know it's going to be like to focus it on you, like to bring it into. So like Jay, so he's, he's, he's saying, so what I'm hearing is like, you know, God's really been showing you like, you know, to, to step back, to be kind, to be graceful and, and then to be aware of those moments where you need to say, Oh, I need to repent of, of this, of this, right. whether, whether it's uh whether it's a action or, a, or a thought or anger or a reaction instead of whatever it might be well, that's, you know, that's, and that's, that's dope. And I think, I mean, and, and it's practical. You know, I mean, and, yes. and the key to that, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you. The key to that is that man, you got to read, you, you got to read your Bible. Right. Right. Because so you got to fill your mind with right. that. Exactly. Right. That you know, yeah. um, I believe it's, um, Psalm 119, 11, David says, I have filled my heart. I have filled my heart with your word so that I won't sin against you. Right. Right. So it's like you you, you just got to keep it so you, so that you can be mindful of those things. Right. right? So cuz I mean cuz if you keep on with the Bible and even if you repeat one verse over and over God is love, God is love, God is love, God is love, right? Then, you know, it stays present. Yeah, that's like um it stays present and yeah. you can you can respond through that. Through that. Yeah, like I told somebody one time that they were, you know, they're telling me like, "Oh, you know, I want to get kind of get back with the Lord, get back together in that thing." And I said, you know, and I, I remember telling him, I said, well, you know, let me give you some, here's some, a couple of easy steps is, is kind of what I, what I told him. Right? I said, number one, uh, download the Bible app and have it set so that every morning you get the verse of the day right? and read the verse of the day. If that's all you read, all just as you go throughout your day, read the verse of the day. Just do that. Right. You know, just to kind of start in those, in kind of in those steps, Right. And the other thing I, I, I told him was like, you know, 
Now shift, the other thing to shift is start listening to worship worship music or or just christian music in general so start listening to the fish you know, if, if if that's what you got if not you know download you know and i gave them a couple of um apps you know air one radio and i forget what the other one was you know download those apps and um when you're in the car instead of listening to you know whatever the hot 97 or 99x or whatever the i don't even know what the stations are anymore <laughs> whatever those stations whatever the hot mega stations might be <laughs> you know Put put worship you know put worship music on put Christian music on put music that's gonna that's gonna fill you with fill you with those good things right you know um, so, so you can begin that kind of that process because it it's um, and it changes your outlook it does and and, right? and it's and it, well it does change your outlook especially once you kind of it's funny because um like for me like if you look at my music collection right as far as what I have in, you know what I listen to out of my phone or my tablet mm-hmm. it's like Christian hip hop, worship, um, and then in that mix, reggae. I'll have some Christian reggae. I have some Christian pop, Christian rock, um, and then because 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 I'm Puerto Rican, I got some salsa. Like that's <laughs> like you know, and, and and because I like old school like soul R and B music from the '60s and '70s and that kind of you know I have I have a little bit of that. But the majority of is is Christian music. It's music right. that's gonna, you know, that's gonna either encourage me, gonna pump me up, or bring you closer, bring me closer to God, like whatever, like kind of whatever emotion or whatever feeling I'm feeling. Like some mornings, I just want, like this morning, um, there's this uh, guy named Shylin. He's a uh, rapper, and and his stuff is like real theological, right? Right. And, right, right, and right, right. I was like, I really, I was just that's what was my mood. So this morning, I'm listening to like this theology rap. I'm just like, <laughs> it's like, baby, it's like I'm just like a Bible study to like a three and a half minute song, you know, that I'm having for every track. Yeah, you know? yeah, he's and, good for that. And so it's good storytelling, you know. Too. And it's like, ah, so I'm driving to work. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like getting pumped, and I'm listening, <laughs> to, you know. And so I go into work, and I'm like, yeah, I got a smile on my face, and I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm, I'm super st- super simple. I'm still stuck on on the new Jesus culture you album. Saw, you know, I, my problem is I'm so sleepy in the mornings. I need I need like yeah. really hype. And you go in, hype, you go in stuff, so early, but, it but it's the same thing, man. Like I I I need it because who wants to get up at five six in the morning, right, and drag themselves through the traffic? Because I face a lot of traffic, right, right? Right. Fortunately, I don't. And um and then be at work, right? So yeah, you know you need that. You need that that morning connection. You know, so it, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, so, that's so that's, you, that's so, definitely a good idea. So when you make those connections, then I think that it, it allows you then to uh, walk a little bit more in the uh, concept and the idea of being kind uh, to others, right? And and sh- and showing love and um, mercy and grace because you've begun your day. You think of it this way, you've begun your day with mercy and grace and love. So then hopefully as we've taken that in, we'll be ready to put that out. Yeah. Sometimes I've I've told people, you know, of course start off the day with 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 some worship or some Christian music. But like for for people who like to read in the morning, in the morning, like read out of the book of Psalms. Right. Right. A lot of the Psalms give praise to God. Right. Right. Read out of the book of Psalms read a few verses and you're pumped up and you're giving God praise. You're getting your Bible reading in, you know what I mean? Right. And then, you know, right. Balance that off in the afternoon. <laughs> when things get a little crazy at work. Balance that off in the afternoon, you know, read out of the book of Proverbs that tells right. you how to respond and how to react. Right. And if to you're the really day-to-day. angry, read out of the book of revelations <laughs> <laughs> where God's just like going to judge everyone. And then you're just like, oh, okay, I feel better. Cause we're all going to get judged. Right. Cause God is <laughs> God's going to get everybody. At Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Right. But um, no, I mean, it's, it's good to always have God on the brain, right? It's good to always have God on the brain yes. because you know, the more you have that, the more you, you think on him and your thoughts are on him and, and you reflect on how he is with you, then the easier it is for you to respond to people. And begin to walk Ra- that out. And, and, and walk it out. out walk yes. out your faith. Walk out in love. Rather than react to people, right? Because, right. Um, you know, we, we ought to be Christ-like. And although he could have, like, Jesus, like, did not, like, 
react to all of the people that accuse them and, you know, go and come out his face to anybody. Right. He, you know he, what I mean? He didn't smite them. <laughs> Again, although he could have. So, yeah. No one got smoted. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. So, uh, friends uh, out there the that, that are going to listen to this, uh, we encourage you guys to um, uh, pursue and, and seek those things that will uh, draw you um, closer to uh, closer to God and in your relationship with him, uh, whether it's through scripture, whether it's through, through music, through worship, uh, whether it's through listening to uh, the preachings. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of different um, resources out there that can help you do that. And hey, if you want some ideas and some help, just leave us a comment, let us know. And, and we'll, you know, we'll hit you up with all kinds of links to, to kind of help uh, guide you in that direction on how you can begin your days and end your days. Um, you know, with the Lord, um, uh, going forward <clears throat> so that hopefully you will be loving and kind and Christ like. To yeah. Those I mean, the, the, across. the thing is our, our hope is, and I, and I say not, not our hope as in Joaquin and myself for our listeners, but our hope for ourselves and for the listeners and for all believers in the kingdom is that we move to be closer, right? To get closer to God. Yes. So that when we're when we're around people who don't know who God is, can 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 see him by our love for them. Yes. Right? Cuz that's that's what that's what that's what scripture tells us, right? That we will be known by our love. And so that's where um hey, and that's what we want for you guys and that's what we want for us. So, with that being said, uh, man, it's been great uh, talk. We have a whole lot of stuff that we got to put on the website. A so whole you, lot of stuff. <laughs> so that you guys can listen and watch. And um, man, uh, for those of you that are listening and that hung out this long with us, we thank you. Thank you. We love you. And we hope to meet you. Some of you guys that you already know us, um, just pat us on the back and let us know we did a good job. <laughs> we like that kind of stuff. So with that being said, uh, my name is Joaquin. This is Jay. And uh, this is the Overflow Podcast at thisisoutcry.com. Thanks for listening. Check this out. See y'all later.